YouTube. It's your boy, the Blade Runner, coming out of Boys Own Barbers in Walton on Thames, Surrey, as usual. Uh, I hope you've all had a good day. And today we have the lovely Reese in the chair. Uh, Reese is one of my boys' uh, school buddies, and he's got his photos to get done tomorrow. So we needed a fresh little trim. Now, obviously, can't go too short because the schools don't like the, the hair actually being taken too short because they go a little bit mental about it. Um, yes. So if you enjoy the video, please do subscribe to the channel. I would really appreciate that. Anyway, you guys take care, and we'll see you soon. Bye. I'm out. So going straight in, putting those Velcro clips into the hair. What I like about these guys is they actually stick flush to the head. And then from there, we're going to start working just with a grade three, just taking out some of that bulk on the sides. What I absolutely love about those clips is it literally just keeps all the hair out of where you're trying to blend. Okay, from there I've basically I've put on a grade one, working with it open and closed, just working around the head, blending the one into the hair. And big thank you to my little boy Sonny, because he did the actual filming for me. a very light shadow with the blend uh, I don't want it to go totally faded just just a slight shadow just, I think it just gives it a little bit more shape So I've taken off my, uh, my one grey, I'll put a one and a half grey, just to keep blending. And I'm not putting too much pressure on the scalp at all. Okay, just a little bit of clipper over comb. Clipper over comb, you don't have to just swipe straight across the comb. Sometimes it's nice to work vertically with the comb as well. From there, I've just put the grade 0.5 on, or half, just working on the hairline. Now, his, his hair really does indent at the back, so when you get round to the back, uh, always, you know, never ever worry about asking your client to put his head forward just like that, because you really want to get into that indentation. Just working closed guard and open guard.
little bit of scissor over comb. Now I'm going just just above the temples, but I'm actually coming out because I just want to retain that little bit of a weight line. I'm working quite square and I'm not cutting into it too much. He's got a really beautiful curl to his hair and that provides enough texture. And obviously when you're cutting into the hair, it is to start creating texture. He's got all the natural texture in the world. So I'm just working my layers quite square. And as I get towards the front, I'm just gonna direct back. So we, what we wanna do is retain the actual fringe length. direct back that's going to retain length if you direct it forward it's going to take length off of the front okay just always cross check your work sometimes you can work horizontally and then when you check it through afterwards you can put little indentations in so just always cross check your work, it doesn't take long to do it guys. So just another little bit more scissor over combing just to detail the actual shape of the haircut. And then just point cutting, what the point cutting does and just chipping in, it takes out any little bits of bulk that you don't want. Okay, so just checking the balance. Blast it through. I'm just working with the way the hair actually wants naturally wants to fall. Last bit of clay working through young Reese's hair. He's an absolute little star, is young Reese. Um, he is my my boy's best mate. So uh, and as I say, thank you to Sonny for actually filming the haircut for me. Hope you like it guys. Please don't forget, please do subscribe. I'm out of here.